Leighton Orient are a staple of the Football League. They had spent well over 100 years in the Football League, but in the mid-2010s, their world fell apart as a controversial owner saw them fall into non-league. Their saviour would come in the form of of a former Tottenham left-back named Justin Edinburgh, who at the end of his life, saved the club. This is a story of Justin Edinburgh, Leighton Orient's saviour. Leighton Orients were overtaken in the 2014-15 season by Italian Francesco Bacchetti. Barry Hearn had sold the club to him as he saw an enthusiastic man willing to get his paycheck out. Only in the season before, Orient had been in the League One playoff final, losing to Rotherham. Bacchetti's reign, though, would be one of terror. Bacchetti showed his ambition at first, bringing in the likes of Joby McEnough, Jay Simpson and Adam Legsins. The season started poorly, though, with two wins in their first eight games, and long-serving manager Russell Slade would resign to take over at Cardiff City. Bacchetti's compatriot, former Napoli and Inter defender Mauro Milanese, was brought in as manager, but he wouldn't be able to turn things around either. He would last a dire six weeks, only winning a solitary league game whilst in charge. Milanese moved upwards to a position as sporting director and was replaced by Fabio Liverani. Orient's new manager, who could not speak English, did not bring the side any luck, and later Orient was soon relegated to League Two. It was a miserable and humiliating campaign, and things would soon go from bad to worse. The turnover of staff behind the scenes was huge, and a programme was made with the Agon Channel, an Albanian-Italian TV network that Bacchetti owned, that saw Italian players come over to England to try and win a contract of Orient. The next season had more promise, as the club finished 8th, but there were still struggles behind the scenes, and they had four different managers in charge that season, with Andy Hessenthaler having two caretaker spells, and Kevin Nolan with one as a player manager. Bacchetti forced the squad to spend a week together in a hotel close to the training ground for a team bonding exercise, and kept interfering with team selection. The next campaign was an absolute disaster. There were five managerial appointments the next season, as several players went out the door. Whilst Bacchetti had many of his assets seized by the Albanian government over accusations of fraud and money laundering. Orvian's form was miserable, and as they sleepwalked the relegation, towards the end of the campaign, it emerged that Bacchetti had not paid the players for two months, and the PFA was forced to step in and loan players some of the money. Leighton Orient finished bottom, bringing an end to 112 years in the Football League. Animosity against Bacchetti was at an all-time high, with one game being abandoned due to fans invading the pitch in protest. Leighton Orient's future was in jeopardy, and in March, they faced a winding-up order that concluded that Bacchetti had until June to sell the club or pay off his debts. Thankfully, his reign was soon over. In June 2017, Bacchetti sold the club to Nigel Travis, the chairman of Duncan Group and a lifelong Leighton Orient fan. It was time to plot a return to the Football League. Steve Davis was appointed the club's new manager, but he was dismissed after a disappointing start to the season. He would be replaced by Justin Edinburgh, Edinburgh had experienced a successful playing career, making over 200 appearances and winning two trophies with Tottenham Hotspur. He had undertaken a managerial career after retiring from playing, and saw his first success at Newport, guiding the club to a football league after a 25-year absence. Spells at Gillingham and Northampton followed. On the 29th of November 2017, Justin Edinburgh was appointed Leighton Orient manager. It will be a match made in heaven. He guided Orient to 13th, and the next season would be a special one. Leighton Orient were unbeaten in their first 13 league games, and by Christmas, they had only lost three times in the league. They continued breaking in the wins, scoring three or more goals on several occasions, and the dream was in sight. On the 27th of April 2019, Leighton Orient drew 0-0 with Braintree to seal a return to the Football League. The club had been run through the mill and faced extinction in the face, but now they were back where they belonged. Edinburgh took them to Wembley too, as they reached the FA Trophy final, but they lost to Fylde. However, this would not ruin the moment, as the club celebrated with glee upon winning the National League. Leighton Orient looked forwards, hoping to stabilise themselves in the Football League once again, with the days of financial turmoil and instability behind them. Soon, their dreams were met with a crushing blow. On the 3rd of June 
2019, Justin Edinburgh suffered a cardiac arrest and was admitted to hospital. Five days later, he passed away at the age of 49. His love affair with Leighton Orient had only just begun, and now the club's saviour was lost. His passing saw tributes come in from across the game, with club captain Joby McEnough describing him so much more than the manager to him. Justin Edinburgh was gone from this earth, but it was clear his spirit would be at Brisbane Road forever. On the 3rd of August 2019, Leighton Orient played their first game since Edinburgh's passing, when they faced Cheltenham Town at home. Flags honouring his memory were displayed across the stadium, including one funded by the Cheltenham fans, with a picture of Edinburgh describing how he made the club dream again. Josh Wright, the last signing Edinburgh would make for the club, scored the winner and held up a shirt in tribute to his former manager. In January 2020, the West Stand at Brisbane Road was renamed the Justin Edinburgh Stand to honour what he did for the club. His family would set up the Justin Edinburgh Foundation with the aim of providing defibrillators and encouraging people to learn CPR. Justin Edinburgh's time with the O's may have been short, but he saw them fly to the top of the National League and made them dream again. The club have remained in the National League since and added further security this year by winning the League 2 title. They win the Football League for over 100 years before they are relegated. And thanks to Edinburgh, they may well find their way to another 100 years there. Justin Edinburgh's life may have tragically been cut short, but the things he did for Leighton Orient will live forever. I just say that it's been an honour to lead this group of players, staff, and the board of directors, and everyone connected with the football club. Okay, because for me, when I come in here, this club is going one way, and that was into the conference south. Okay, so credit to you because there's not been a lot of change. Remember, enjoy tonight and tomorrow <laughs> and Monday <laughs> and Tuesday. <laughs> and when we get at that airport. <laughs>